You need to be able to enjoy the ups just so you can enjoy the downs. You need to be able to enjoy the downs so you can enjoy the ups. You need to be able to enjoy absolutely every part of the process, every part of life, in order to get the most out of life. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. So, you have to accept the ups to accept the downs. And you have to accept the downs and accept the ups. You have to accept all of it. That's the thing with life. Life is both yin over here and yang over there. There's no dark without light. You can't physically accept and appreciate the good in life if you've never appreciated the bad in life. And that doesn't mean you have to feel bad. That doesn't mean you have to go into depression. That doesn't mean you have to lose everything, go broke. If you can see it from a perspective, that is enough. But you have to still accept it. You have to accept the perspective. Accept the perspective. So, yin and yang in life. There's, there's, there's loads of different, there's loads of different ones. You have dark and light. You have on and off. You have, there's so, there's everything has an opposite. Absolutely everything have an, has an opposite. And it's the way that we see it is the way that we live our life. The perception we give to the yin and the yang could be, and it, and it, it could be, it could be the, the, the yin being the great and the yang being the bad. And you could see it in a sense of, that is awful. I never want to see that again in my life. But if you don't appreciate that and say, unfortunately, things like that do happen in life. It's hard, it's hard to see and it's hard to hear. I don't like a lot of the stuff that happens in the world, but I do what I can to help put good into the world. And that's all I can do. I can't change the way of, I couldn't tell you how many, billions of people, if not, most likely billions of people. Yeah, I'd definitely say billions of people but I can maybe impact, and my goal is obviously one million people. Now, I know I'll do that, and I probably will supersede, uh, supersede that, surpass, supersede, whatever it is. I will get past that eventually. But my goal right now is one million people, and that's gonna be done. So, if I can impact one million lives, I'm contributing to the world. I can't change the world on my own. I definitely can't do that, and I know I can't. And that's not, not um, negative thinking. That's being realistic. Now, I'm an optimist by, by nature, by heart, I'm always optimistic. But sometimes things aren't gonna happen. There's no way you're going to change every single person in the world to love one another, to be kind to one another. Can we get to a lot of people? Yes, and I hope we can. And I know that together, you watching this, if you're watching this, you're already part of that movement that wants to make an impact, or even just wants to help one person, one, two, three, four, five, six, however many it is. You have two choices in life. You can either accept what's happening or change what's happening. And if you can't change it, then you have to accept it. If you physically can't change something, there's no point in moaning about it because you can't change it. But we have the ups and the downs, and that's the point of life. And something that rock bottom will teach you that a mountain top never will is perspective. It will teach you perspective. Not only perspective, it will teach you gratitude. If you look at people who are at their highest high right now, 90% of them are self-made. Even 90% of billionaires, they're self-made. They were once born into nothing. How do they do it? Through hard work, persistence, and understanding that they've got to do it. There's no, no one's gonna, don't expect things from other people. That's one of the biggest takeaways that you, if you take one thing away from this video, is never expect from anyone else. Now, you can, you can, go out on a date and expect them to to make you smile, make you laugh, whatever. What if they don't? <laughs> what, what if they don't? You're just gonna be in your head, you're gonna be worried about it, you're gonna be constantly getting in your head and you're just gonna mess yourself up. Whereas if you don't expect and you say, I'm gonna be happy either way, if they don't like me, perfectly fine. I'm single already, so if they don't like me, that's perfectly fine. If you go to a business meeting, if they don't uh, buy my product, they don't buy my services, that's perfectly fine. There will be someone out there that, that can. There's a, there's a market for everything. On the dating market, on the business market, and the YouTube market. Yeah, I've been doing videos for probably over a year now. How many subscribers have I got? About 168, something like that. And I could say, oh, but I'm not happy because I'm not at my goal. I'm not happy because I'm not impacting so many lives. I'm not thinking right now. I'm thinking long term. I'm going through the down. I'm still, it's like going a roller coaster, going through the water 
and think of a roller coaster actually going through water, not just a tunnel, it would slow right down because of the resistance. And slowly, I'll, I'll, break, I'll break that water soon, and then you'll go up, then you're on the up, then you're climbing, you're climbing, and then it's downhill from there. And that's where your life will change. And when you don't expect anything from anyone, you expect to put the work in yourself, you expect to, to have some downs, have some ups, because with ups come downs. When you appreciate the downs, the ups are even sweeter. When you appreciate the ups, you can continue to have more. Because when you're grateful for what you've got, more of it will come. If you're grateful for where you are right now, and this is where I, if you would have looked at me when I first started out on my personal development journey, I was grateful for everything I had. Did I have much? Not really. Did I sell a lot of my stuff because I had no money? Yes. Was I grateful for the last things that I did have? Yes. And that's something that I want everyone to understand is gratitude will change your life when you're grateful and, and not just a little bit grateful, when you're truly grateful, you will come to terms with the fact that not everything happens is good, but not everything that happens is bad. But the way you look at it, the way you perceive it and the way that you view life is what's going to come to you most of the time. Now, I am a very optimistic person, like I said, a very positive person. Do positive things happen to me? Yes, all the time. Do negative things happen to me? Yes, still, a lot of the time. How do I see them though? That's, that's how I get over it. Now, the great example was the day that I, my car failed the MOT, I had to pay something, it cost like 300 pounds. Um, I, my door key snapped in the door. What else? I had videos on my camera and I was meant to be putting them on, onto my online members area. And if you, you're interested in that, click down the, on the link below and uh, get your free confidence training. And then you can go into the members area after that one if you, if you choose to. And yeah, so I had a load of videos on my camera and I was going, I was meant to put them all onto my computer. They all deleted. And they took me in total, it was an hour's worth of videos. It took me a couple of days to do because I didn't do them all at once. My, my door key snapped in the door. Then my car failed the MOT. Then I had to pay money to them, then to so go out, drop it somewhere else, pay money, and then re-MOT it. And I could have perceived that day as, oh, this is just me. Oh, this always happens. But I accept the lows, and I make I make a high out of the low. Whenever there's a low, I try to make content out of it. Why? Because it, it makes it makes people laugh. When you're having a bad day, it makes people say, okay, my day's not that bad. <laughs> and that's what I use it for. So even if my day is bad. I use it to make content. Even right now, today, I was thinking, I get to the point sometimes where I'm just thinking, this is going to be hard, this is going to be tricky, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to figure it out. And just since I've got up, I've stopped procrastinating, I've got up and I made a video, and I'm getting out of the low, and I'm coming back to the high, and that's what it's about, because your energy in motion, so your emotion is energy in motion, your energy and the way you move dictates how you are, so it dictates your physiology. If you're sitting like that, then you're going to not feel as empowered and confident as someone sitting like this. So use, utilize your energy, utilize your emotion, utilize your mind to change the way that you're feeling. Because if you are procrastinating right now, I can guarantee you, you're not standing like this, all happy. You're probably sitting there, bored, doing nothing, scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on Facebook, can't be bothered. But when you change your energy, that's when you start to change. So, the biggest takeaway, a couple of big takeaways in this. So, your lows are there to, to help you. Your low, they're, they're there to help you. You learn in the lows. You don't learn when you're winning. You never learn when you're winning. You to get deserved accomplishments, you get deserved achievements when you win, but you never normally learn anything. Because in losing, we start to ponder. And that's when we start to sit and we look and we think. We're like, so, what have I done wrong? What can I do to fix that? How can I get to the next stage? Whereas when you succeed and you win, you're just like, I'm the best. And there's nothing wrong with that. When you succeed and win, go for it. Party, enjoy it, do what you gotta do, and praise yourself, because that's the most important thing. When you're winning, praise yourself. But there's, there's a few takeaways in this video and obviously being grateful is just one of them. Being grateful for absolutely everything. Being grateful for the fact that you've got clothes on your body. Being grateful for the fact that you can speak, you can see, you can hear. Now, some people aren't so lucky to have things like that. So be very, very grateful for all them things. Accept the yin and the yang. Don't try to change people. Change yourself. If you need to be changed, you might not. 
but the main one is just enjoying the ups and accepting the lows. Party, enjoy yourself when it's up. When it's low, don't get too down about it. We all experience that. Nature experiences it. The trees, they lose their leaves, then they come back in the summer, then they lose their leaves, then they come back in the summer. It's part of nature, we are part of nature. So with that being said, I hope you've gained some knowledge from this video. I hope you gained something from this video. If you have, please let me know. Leave a comment, share it, like it, whatever you want to do, subscribe, that would be very handy and very nice of you. Um, but have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling. Most importantly, keep spreading positivity.